welcome back to the channel so as you can see we are in way of the hunter and we're going to be just taking a look at these beautiful like, caribou grazing and drinking while i talk about the brand new roadmap that the developers put out today um and you know i'm just going to say that i don't feel that this roadmap is very promising i'm not excited about it which i feel like i should be um i feel like for a game that's you know a year old uh going into its second year we should be seeing a lot of big things come to the game at this point um and this roadmap very much feels to me like uh you know like this game has been around for five six years and they've exhausted everything so the roadmap this is what's coming soon new scopes Additional Hunter Sense customization options, encyclopedia filtering options for animals, camera movement, head bobbing improvements, pause function customization option, rare fur for various animals, and the Stayer Arms Pack, which is going to be released October 19th for $4.99 uh, European and USD. That's what's coming soon. So apparently, I'm, I'm guessing that's what's going to be coming in the next months before the end of the year. Um, we are supposed to get an update with the Stayer Arms Pack release, um, a patch that's going to fix some things. I'm guessing it's going to add some of those new things. But again, for coming soon, nothing really exciting. No, I mean, new scopes. We just got that one new scope uh, a little while back. And I mean, it's a lower power. I don't know who's asking for lower power scopes in this game, but that's what they gave us. So... I, I don't know what that's about. Rare fur for various animals, that's that's great. Uh, that's great to see. I still want to see just variations, maybe not even rare, just have the animals look different. You know, that would be um, something, you know, just to give you more incentive, I guess. So what's coming next year? So we have two new maps with local animals. And I, I find it strange how they worded that with local animals. I mean, obviously... <laughs> the maps are going to have local animals. You know, they're not going to put, you know, lions in a Sweden map, you know. So it was just kind of weird how they worded it. And a lot of people in Discord were asking about that too. Like, what does local animals mean? And it is just, you know, animals local to the map. A trophy variation updates. So apparently this is going to be more variations in the antlers and stuff like that. Uh, still no true racks. That there's no plans right now to change the scoring system, which is very disappointing. Um, so we have that. We have ammo change, which again, this is something that was in last year's roadmap. We never got it, and here it is on this year's roadmap as well. Hunting tripod stand. What is a hunting tripod stand? Is that like uh, a hunting stand that you sit on? Or is this uh, something that you set the gun on? I, I'm not really sure. And then it says binocular updates. And again, binoculars was something that we were supposed to get last year. We were They were on the last year's roadmap. And we never seen any improvements to the binoculars. No added binoculars. Nothing in the way of a spotting scope. Which, again, like I said, in this game where you need to see the animal. You need to see how old it is. You need something to see a further distance. You know what I mean? We can take shots on animals from a very long range in this game. And if we can't see what we're shooting at, then what's the point? We're just shooting blind. And if you're trying to manage your herds, uh, you know, then you're just you're not going to take those long shots. There's just no point because you don't know what it is you're shooting at because you can't see them. Uh, for this game to not have something like... A spotting scope or zoomable, zoomable binoculars. It's just very disappointing. And then it says uh, to, to be determined additional paid DLCs. And that's it. That's the roadmap. Um, honestly, I think it's very disappointing. At this point in the game, we should be seeing big things coming to the game. Right? We should be seeing improvements. We should be seeing improvements to true racks. We should be seeing improvements to the scoring. Um, you know, we should be seeing... Um, maybe improvements as like, uh, you know, scent and stuff like that, scent eliminators, scent attractants, things like that. And they're, they're just, they're not doing that. So 
we went from the first year where I was really hyped and, you know, because it literally the sky's the limit for the game. The potential is there for this game to be amazing, but from this roadmap, it just doesn't look like the developers are going to take advantage of things that they could put into the game. I mean, for this being the second year's roadmap, it's very disappointing. I mean, there's there's nothing huge in that roadmap that's like game changing or like that says, oh my god, these these devs are on the right path. I mean, a lot of it is just little quality of life fixes and things that you know it should just be an update. No, no, no big major additions to a hunting game, and it's just. Uh, I don't know. It's it's very disappointing. It's very disappointing to say the least. But you know what, guys? Drop in the comments. What do you think? You know, am, am I wrong? Am I missing something? Is there something in the roadmap that you find particularly exciting? Like I said, the ammo changes, the, the binocular updates, the hunting tripod stands, those are pretty cool. Obviously, maps are a good thing, but I still feel that there's Something with the game that needs to be changed. There needs to be tweaks to the game, right? I mean, I would still very much like to see our own characters in the game. You know, I don't want to play as characters that are already in the game. Let us have some kind of character customization where we can put our own character in there. Where we're not just hunting around. You know what I mean? And again, like, no talks of anything to do with multiplayer. So many people enjoy playing multiplayer in these games, and there's no talks of any big improvements from multiplayer, which is just sad. And they'll say in the Discord that that's something that they're always working on, but yet with each patch, it still doesn't fix multiplayer. It still doesn't make it, you know, a good experience. You know, I hate to say it, um, Call of the Wild for multiplayer and for small game and bird hunting, they had this game beat. Okay, like, personally, this is my personal feeling on it. This game here, take the birds out of the game. Or just have them as, like, an ambient thing. Because the duck hunting and pheasant hunting, it's just horrible. It's just horrible. It's not a good experience. I don't ever, you know, want to do it. The shotguns in this game are totally useless. You know, other than hitting, like, small game and birds, that's it. So that's disappointing. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. Like I said, tell me what you think in the comments. Like I said, am I being overly critical of it? Uh, what do you think? So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we will see you next time.